What is good, Ape Nation? It's your boy Stock J back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, why I'm extremely, extremely bullish right now. I'm also going to talk about the overall stock market and the latest pieces of news that just came out that are definitely, definitely, definitely going to affect it to some degree, which in turn may affect AMC as well. I'm also going to talk about the latest pieces of news and updates affecting AMC that make me super, super excited. And I'm also going to give you my price prediction for what I think is going to play out for, you know, Monday, the near weeks, and when I think AMC is about to explode. Now, before I do talk talk about amc the overall you know price movements what the fed is doing and everything like that i do have to mention some very important things first off i'm not a financial planner guys this is all for entertainment purposes only secondly if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this and not only benefits me but the entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the memo link down below and in the description if you do sign up for Moomoo, you're not only going to qualify for an iPhone 13 Pro giveaway, meaning you may win an iPhone 13 Pro, but you're also going to get up to five free stocks, each worth up to $3,500. So with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So AMC looking pretty, pretty awesome right now, up over 19.1%, guys. It's looking very strong. It looks like we're ready to see a big rip. But I do want to talk about what on earth caused this to happen. What are the big factors that played a role and what I think is going to play out? So before I talk about AMC, we got to talk about the overall market. Market. AMC obviously you could argue that it has a positive beta or you could argue it has a negative beta and in my opinion it, it doesn't necessarily have a positive beta and the reason I'm saying that is because sure Maybe it acts like it has a positive beta, but it could also act like it has a negative beta So you can't just say that it just has a positive beta. So the thing about AMC is even if the market is green, AMC could be green. Even if it's in the red, AMC could still be in the green. And that's what happened today. But the market does play a role in affecting AMC, especially after the new pieces of news that came out. So I really want to talk about that before I go into more detail about AMC, just real quick, guys. So check this out right here. CNBC reported that raising rates would be a positive event for the US economy. Once again, when interest rates go up, that is a good sign for the overall economy over the long term. But for the short term, this could affect the stock market in a negative way as other stocks become more enticing. And I do want to note something very important, and that is the fact that Jerome Powell is looking a lot more hawkish, and he is basically addressing inflation, saying that this could continue. However, he did also note something very good, and that is the fact that rate hikes are probably not going to happen until mid to late 2022, meaning it's more for the long term and less for the short term, which means we could have a very good Santa rally amidst this year. I also want to talk about this right over here. President Joe Biden signed a $2.5 trillion debt ceiling legislation. Congress has delayed the default until at least 2023. Now, obviously, this may not be the best for the long-term future of this country, but for the short term, this would definitely can help uh, give us a big relief right now, meaning the market is basically in turn of having a good reversal because of this. And there's less concern involving the debt ceiling now. They basically got past it, especially at the last minute. And that, in my opinion, would be another bullish sign for the market for the short term. Now, even though the market fear and greed index is at 28 right now, more on the fearful side, I do think we can slowly start to change our course starting next week and i definitely am very very bullish so what does this mean for amc in particular so if i bring up the amc chart real quick you as you guys know we had a very very good day and obviously we started off at 23.66 ran up to 30 dollars and 71 cents at the highest closing at 29 dollars and 12 cents once again up over 19 percent now look at the past five days we, we hit a low of $20, around $20. Now we're at the 30s. We were up almost 50%, guys. Absolutely crushing it. AMC is looking very, very good. It looks like it's ready to see a big run. So let's bring up some Bollinger Bands. As you can see, we're touching the upper band for the large majority of the day. We looked like we tested the level of resistance at around 30. We didn't quite break it. We did kind of break past it, but we didn't quite close above 30, which is what we expected because of the calls out the money. But at the end of the day, it's not necessarily anything to be concerning about because of the fact that AMC is in the green and the, the bulls, people that are very bullish, are gaining a lot of control. So let's just look at this real quick. Let's look at some technical indicators before I talk about the latest pieces of news and the data and what it's showing and what I think is going to play out. So look at these indicators real quick. As you guys can see, the CCI is indicating the exact same thing. The fact that AMC's uh, overall price is looking a lot better. And I also want to talk about the fact that the RSI is at uh, 40 6.25 that's once again another very good sign now i do want to note the significance of this because of the fact that look amc its price movement is definitely improving considerably now look at this right here 
If I zoom in all the way here, you can see that we're kind of stair stepping our way up, and now we are above the short term exponential moving averages, which is a bullish indicator. We were trading below them, now we're above them, which means that AMC is showing strength, not just from the RSI, but the MACD is also indicating something very similar. As you can see across the nine day moving averages, and we could totally see we're in this bullish cycle once again. So I do want to note that there is the possibility that the hedge funds are using this as a tactic to, to try to scare people off. I totally wouldn't be surprised if there's one last time where they try to shake us off. But at the end of the day, guys, despite that, it's looking very strong and still looking very bullish. They could try to bring it down one more time. And I wouldn't be surprised if they try to bring us down to 28. But at the end of the day, if we consolidate right there and we hold up, we should be seeing more and more green to come, which is an indicator that we are in a growth phase from the white cough accumulation schematic and we're looking very good now before i talk about what i think is going to play out for the future of amc let's go on with what on earth the data is showing check out the ortex data real quick this is just a short interest as you guys can see it's currently at 20.36 based off the free float or at least 85 percent of it and my point is even though it's right here it could easily be much higher and we're still at a high point in short interest now i also want to talk about what this means this means that look they are going crazy right now. The days to cover is crazy high, up over 9.94%, and they've been trying to short this thing, but it's not working too well. If you look at the overall short volume per percentage, as you can see, the shorts were in control yesterday with 62% short volume percentage. They were in control of AMC, and it appears that we are gaining the control. The people going long are gaining all the control, especially after this news that just came out right here. As you guys can see, Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC, tweeted this, just staggering spidey numbers. 1.1 million people watched the new Spider-Man movie at AMC theaters in the US yesterday. It's the biggest AMC opening day grossing for a December movie ever, the second biggest opening at AMC of all time, and the biggest one day sales for any movie in all of 2020 and 2021. So for people saying that theaters are dead, they're going to die, they are absolutely incorrect. Now we also want to talk about this right over here. AMC was also heavily manipulated today at 60% offlet exchange data, meaning a lot of trades happen on dark pools. But despite that, they are not controlling it. We are basically gaining the edge and AMC's in the green. The overall volume is also picking up, which is the last thing I'm going to talk about. Up 137 million, guys. The average was 45 million. We're more than th three times the average. We're crushing it. We're looking good. And I'm very, very excited for what is going to play out. Look at the some articles coming out. The street is now talking about the fact that why betting against AMC stock is still a bad idea. I mean, do I even need to talk about that, guys? It's obviously not a good idea to be shorting this thing. It's looking very strong. So based off the data and based off what the Fed reported, I think it's very probable we're going to have a Santa rally and AMC is looking more bullish in my opinion. So I can't wait to see what's going to play out. I do think that next week we could hit the $38 to $40 range or perhaps even higher. And we may even see a potential gamma squeeze up to perhaps perhaps all-time highs once again, either in my opinion by the end of December or maybe even in the end of January. But either way, I'm very bullish. I'm not giving up. And AMC is looking amazing right now. I hope we continue for next week. And I can't wait for what's going to come. So thank you for listening, guys. AMC is looking good. And I'll see you in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.